headed Keith Jones' way. Luckily, he was able to get away from it. And this is tonight. Moments ago, Todd Krieger. Just a little one. So that makes the count three attempted kisses and none landed for Esetikinen in this series so far. Esetikinen out of... Here in the early going of this overtime, and they do it again. Smolinski steals the puck on the attempted pass out by the New Jersey Devils, and he sets up Hines, who ends up taking the shot. He got a lot of velocity on the shot. Again, here it is here. Number 20 is Smolinski. Gets the puck away from Driver, and then the long shot. Good save by Terreri. He's able to control the rebound, even though he took it in the shoulder. And Hines breaks his stick on that shot. Chris Terreri with the first good save in overtime. An innocent dump of the puck towards the net. An easy save for Chris Terreri. Terreri had to make sure that he saw it coming through a maze of players. Carpenter just trying to clear the puck. Clears it over the glass. Rolling on him. You can see the puck bouncing around. He tries to kick it up, and he'll actually turn the other way and go offside. And Spolinski was on the other side as well. Boy, that's a close call on Hines. That right skate just barely over the line before the puck. An advantage the, off the major. The wild scramble in front of Don Beaufre. Brian Noonan would put it home. There was some question as to whether a player was in the crease or whether it went off a skate. They went upstairs to review it, which means the guess was it went off a skate. They counted. Paul Stewart, Jim Schoenfeld got together. Still 17 seconds left in the Ranger man advantage. To try and block the shot. He comes from the side of the net. Deflected it the first time, and then ended up diving to block the shot and then clear the zone as well. That's that's a terrific play by Ken Danico to maybe save the game for his team. And the Devils survive that loop. Malik wins the draw, knocks it out, and Richet's got a breakaway. The moment he scores, and the Devils have won to even this series at two apiece. Stefan Riche, boy, he's had quite a night. He had eight shots on goal through the first three periods, and he is really right off the faceoff. He just ends up with a breakaway. The faceoff coming right at the New Jersey blue line, and the puck was just pushed ahead. Riche, with his great size, he has tremendous speed, and he's a wonderful goal scorer, and he just beat. Sweeney, who also has good speed, he beats Sweeney down the ice. Casey, we talked about being aggressive. New Jersey knows that. You have to have your head up. Oates is taking the draw. See Bork? Bork is inside the line. He's taking that chance. The puck goes past him. Richet with the great speed. Waits out Casey, who comes out and commits himself and scores the goal. Look at Richet. Head up. Big and strong. Sweeney tries to slide. Casey's already down. Then Rishi has a wide open net, and he just puts it in. Now look on, on the other side. Rishi is back further. So the winger takes the defenseman, and Rishi just takes off from, from the defenseman's position untouched. That's what allowed him to come up the ice with all that speed, and the puck just gets by everyone. Rishi beats him, puts it in, and the reaction of the New Jersey bench Oh, Jacques Lemaire, he's a happy man. His team lost the first two games of this series, and now they have the home ice advantage back. John Saunders, Joe Micheletti from Boston Garden. Thanks very much. And the Wolverines come back. Matt Herr shelves it for his sixth. We're tied at three, going through the decisive third period of play. Michigan gets the lead. John Madden, seventh.